Will the young Superman ultimately be the deciding factor in the seemingly never-ending war between the insurgency and the regime? Well, let's hop into the pages of Adventures of Superman, John Kent issue number 5, the penultimate issue of this series, and find out together, shall we? So then, as we join this issue, Batman finally sits John Kent down and tells him the sad story of how this world fell into dystopia, how the Joker attacked Superman, kryptonite-laced scarecrow gas that caused the Man of Steel to accidentally murder his pregnant wife, Lois. Honestly, I'm shocked it took them this long to actually just tell the story to John already. You figure they probably should have opened with that one, yeah? Also, after two issues of weighing his options and trying to figure out what was morally correct, John the Superman has ultimately decided to back Batman in the insurgency in their upcoming battle against Superman. They hope that John, alongside the mysterious weapon that Ultraman was using against multiversal Superman, will be enough to help turn the tide of battle. We also get some rather interesting asides where in Harley Quinn of all people actually apologizes to John for the part she played in the death of John's Injustice counterpart. Again, it's very interesting and something I wasn't expecting, but also a nice little showcase for how much this Harley is different from other Harleys. John is actually pretty firm but fair with Harley, saying that he can't forgive her for standing by the Joker and the part that she played in all of this, but at the same time he says that if she really, truly wants to make amends, then she should live the rest of her life pursuing restorative justice and the rest restoration of this world. Which, from reading the rest of Injustice, I think we can say, yeah, she actually does. Now, at the other end of the story, we have Damian Wayne. He had put a tracker on John at the end of the previous issue and followed him to where this world's Jay Nakamura lives. It's here, too, in a very fun little scene, Damian's true motivations for treating John so harshly are ultimately laid bare. It's not just because he's a total jerkwad, it's because on some level he actively feels that this multiversal son of Superman showed up two days ago and now it's all the man of Steel can talk about. Basically, Damien is afraid that this kid is gonna steal his super daddy away from him, and considering that Damien forsook the Bat family and Batman, having the attention and favor of Superman is very important to Damien. Again, it's all so wonderfully petty. And a light we don't so often see Damien in, but one that perfectly fits his time during this period in Injustice. Damien thinks they can use the tracker to get to Batman and the rest of the insurgency, but once again, Superman decides to use kid gloves around his son. Superman still believes that John, his son, would never hurt him, even though everyone else in the regime has literally been yelling not to trust him since all of this began. Jeez, forget kryptonite. Familial relations is really this guy's weakness. Still, though, I suppose when you're the power-mad dictator of your own dystopian alternate universe, you get to call the play. So John won't be hurt, but the regime will ultimately give it to the insurgency. Just as soon as he leaves, and leaves he does, John says that he needs to make one more stop before for the actual battle tomorrow. Keep in mind, even if they do defeat Superman, they're still going to have to deal with the rest of the regime, which is still going to be two Yellow Lanterns, a Flash, a Wonder Woman, and a Cyborg Strong. And indeed, the full brunt of Superman's forces are brought to bear on Batman and the Insurgency the sec that John is safely away. Batman and the others desperately try and grab their pills so that they can have an edge against Superman and his team, but sadly, the bad guys are one up on them in this situation. They don't kill them all, though, instead choosing to take them hostage and we'll circle back to this one in a minute. Now, where the hell did John get off to? Where is he going? Why is it so important? Well, he actually decides to look up the Fortress of Solitude so he can look at that hollow crystal that Lois gave him before he left Izzer. Honestly, so much time has passed between the first issue and now, I actually forgot that was a thing. So, what is so important about this message? Well, it's Lois giving a loving, motherly talk to her son, saying how in his very short life he has already lost so much and sacrificed so much that he'll never get back, but despite all of that, he stayed hopeful, he stayed pure and wholesome and resolute and tried to help people. It's those qualities more than anything that truly make him a hero, that truly make him worthy of the S, and again, if you can't tell, they're trying to draw a direct correlation to all the trauma and suffering that young John has gone through, and the horrible things that twisted this world Superman into a paranoid, power-mad dictator with an iron fist. It's also here, too, John ends up getting to have a conversation with this world's Ma and Pa Kent. John has seen some pretty horrible stuff in the Injustice universe so far, but seeing that Superman literally keeps his own parents hostage in his ice fortress might just be the worst one yet. Still, though, despite everything that's gone wrong, Ma and Pa are still very happy to see John, and they hope that maybe he's the one person who can still get through to their son, still get him back on the path of righteousness. Even if, let's face it, it's all probably still way too late. It's at that moment, too, Superman and the regime take over the airwaves. They say that they have captured the leaders of the insurgency, and 
and plan to punish them. Superman says that most of the members will rot away in cells except for Batman and Harley Quinn, who he plans to publicly execute for all their crimes against humanity. Meaning that unless John can swoop on in and save all of them before it's too late, this world's insurgency, their last true freedom fighters might die on the vine before their revolutionary work is complete. And it's on that note right there, the comic comes to a close, everyone. And so that was Adventures of Superman, John Kent, issue number five, everyone. And overall, I certainly liked it more than the issue that preceded it. But sadly, a lot of the same problems I've had with the latter part of this series continue to persist, mainly that I feel everything is going really, really slow. I gotta wonder if on some level, Tom Taylor is just getting a little too nostalgic and having way too much fun going on a walking tour through one of his best earliest works. I will say, though, for what it's worth, the real saving grace of this issue is all the different character dynamics and all of the conversations that we probably never would have gotten to get otherwise. John and his grandparents, John and Harley. Even Damien and Superman is great stuff, too, that actually shows a whole other dimension to them as characters that we wouldn't have gotten in the original Injustice without John stopping on by. I mentioned, too, that this series falls into the problem that a lot of prequel stories do, and that is because we know how Injustice ends. It's not like that they can build any new or really biting drama, but that being said, I think they did zero in on a fairly clever idea, and that is that John might not be able to defeat Injustice Superman and free this world, but he can save the insurgency, and they can ultimately go on to defeat Superman, so you know. There's certainly something there, and I hope this series pulls out the big guns for the finale and doesn't leave any hanging plot threads, because there are more than a few right now. And I know they're gonna drive me crazy if they're not resolved by the time everything is said and done. Ultimately, though, I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Jewel again, thanking you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out my Amazon link down in the description. Yes, that's right, the Cape Jewel channel officially has its own Amazon storefront now. You can pick up a comic or anything else for that matter, and if you did, you'd really be helping me in the channel. So with that out of the way, everyone, I will see you again next time. Bye bye